In the rapidly advancing world of artificial intelligence, the use of biometric data has become increasingly common and significant. According to the EU's Artificial Intelligence Act, the interpretation of biometric data aligns with existing definitions in key EU regulations, like the General Data Protection Regulation, the GDPR. Biometric data means personal data resulting from specific technical processing relating to the physical, physiological or behavioral characteristics of a natural person, such as facial images or dactyloscopic data. This data can uniquely identify, authenticate, or categorize people. Biometric data includes, but is not limited to, fingerprints, facial patterns, voice or gait recognition, and even the analysis of typing rhythms. In practice, this means that when you unlock your smartphone using facial recognition, or when a law enforcement agency uses fingerprints to identify a person, they are utilizing biometric data. Having examined the definition of biometric data, let's understand the concept of biometric identification. The notion of biometric identification, referred to in the EU's AI regulation is defined as the automated recognition of physical, physiological, and behavioral human features, such as the face, eye movement, body shape, voice, prosody, gait, posture, heart rate, blood pressure, odor, keystrokes characteristics, for the purpose of establishing an individual's identity, by comparing biometric data of that individual to stored biometric data of individuals in a reference database, irrespective of whether the individual has given consent or not. This concept of biometric identification refers to the use of AI to recognize and verify people based on their unique physical, physiological, and behavioral traits. The process involves comparing a person's biometric data against a database to establish their identity. This is often seen in scenarios ranging from airport security checks, where facial recognition systems scan and verify passenger identities, to workplace attendance systems that use fingerprint scanning. At this point in our discussion, it's important to distinguish between biometric identification and biometric verification, as the EU AI Act does. Biometric identification is about identifying an individual from a group of people, or a database, often without their explicit consent. For example, a surveillance system in a crowded public space that scans faces to find a match in a criminal database, is performing biometric identification. On the other hand, biometric verification, or authentication, is used to confirm a person's identity, to grant access to a service or location. This is a consensual process where the person is actively participating, like using a fingerprint to unlock a phone, or access a secure area at work. The key here is that the system checks if the presented biometric data matches the data linked to the identity claimed by the user. Now, let's look at practical examples and implications. Consider a large festival using facial recognition technology for security. The system scans the faces of attendees and checks them against a database of known offenders or missing persons. This is an example of biometric identification and can raise significant privacy concerns. In contrast, a bank using voice recognition to allow customers to access their accounts over the phone is an example of biometric verification. Customers consent to this when they set up voice recognition features, knowing their voice print will be used to verify their identity for future calls. In summary, the EU's Artificial Intelligence Act's approach to regulating the use of biometric data, especially in identification and verification, reflects a nuanced understanding of the different contexts in which this technology is applied. By distinguishing between biometric identification and verification, the EU AI Act aims to protect and uphold people's privacy and data rights, while still allowing for the beneficial uses of biometrics, for security and personalization of services. The global artificial intelligence governance market is on the brink of explosive growth, set to soar from 890 million US dollars in 2025 to an astonishing 5.7 billion US dollars by 2029. That's an unmatched annual growth rate of over 45%, making AI governance the gold rush profession of the decade. 
This isn't just a career opportunity. It's your chance to become a credible, strategic human in the loop, shaping how artificial intelligence, law and ethics converge to impact our world. Don't get left behind. Visit lawtofficialintegrity.ai and claim your place in the AI governance revolution.